Why am I afraid of heights? You are afraid of heights because the genetically acquired instincts that your ancestors gave you tell you that heights are very dangerous things. Back in prehistoric times, when people wore animal furs and lived in caves, life was full of mortal danger. Lots of things could kill you. A saber-toothed tiger could eat you. A woolly mammoth could sit on you. Or, and this was more likely, a rival jealous cave dweller could come and club you to death for your collection of furs and bones and usefully shaped stones. But one of the biggest risks for primitive man, and indeed all animals, was falling off stuff. Cliffs, mountains, even a tall tree that you'd climbed in search of some honey. And falling any distance in the days before medicine was a surefire way of limiting your life expectancy. Because a broken bone spelled almost certain death. And because dying would prevent you breeding and passing on your genes, so a genetic impetus was developed to help us evolve a healthy fear of heights. Experiments have shown that even a baby will not crawl towards an apparent drop, even if it's only a glass floor that's been put there, rather cruelly in my view, just to fool them. By contrast, we haven't developed an instinctive fear of speed, because primitive man could only move as fast as he could run, and that really wasn't very dangerous at all. So we might be terrified to death standing on top of a six-foot-tall, wobbly stepladder, but perfectly happy to drive at 90 miles an hour down a motorway. Even though, obviously, the consequences of a mishap at 90 miles an hour are much greater. Of course, some people are born with less of an instinctive fear of heights, or they train their bodies to resist it, to gain a head for heights. You can watch them on other YouTube videos doing really rather stupid things up cranes and cliff edges or up old factory chimneys. Some people are far less good at dealing with heights and we tend to refer to them as suffering from vertigo. But that isn't strictly correct. Vertigo is the sensation of spinning when you're not actually spinning. Some people do get it when they look down from a great height, but other people get it when they look up at something very high. And some people even suffer it when they watch something go past at very high speed. More accurately, vertigo can be just one of the symptoms of acrophobia, an extreme and irrational fear of heights. And people who suffer from acrophobia can be scared by really quite insignificant heights, things that don't threaten them at all, such as walking down the stairs or even looking out of the window in a tall building. It was previously believed that, like other phobias, acrophobia was the result of a negative experience. Maybe you'd been part of a high-wire act that went terribly wrong when you were a child. But it's now recognised that it is simply one extreme of an instinctive fear of heights that, to some extent, we all share. Sufferers can reduce its effects by gradual exposure to increasing heights, and our rational brain can combat it and override it Hence the exhortation to people climbing ladders and climbing cliff faces not to look down, to avoid any visual stimuli that tell you you are at increasing height and therefore in some sort of danger. It's also possible that people who suffer from extreme acrophobia over-rely on their visual senses at height. Our bodies use a complicated set of inputs to help us balance. There is the proprioceptive one, that's our knowledge of where each bit of our body is in relation to all the other bits. There's vestibular, that's the system of fluids in your inner ear that tell you whether you're leaning that way or that way. And finally, there's visual. As we get higher, there are fewer visual clues to help us balance. Therefore, we tend to rely on the other senses. So acrophobics suffer when there is less help to keep them balanced. So in short, why are you afraid of heights? It's actually because you're very sensible.